Hello, my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to use the FMS Portable to provision some licenses on an ICB battery tool. So I'm going to start here in the Atlas Copco FMS Portal. I'm going to log in using the username and password that I have, and we're going to grab some licenses that we'll use on the tool. I click log in. I'm a member of a few different accounts, so I'm going to uh, connect to the widget shop today that we use as a training account internally. And the first thing I need to do is I'm going to take a look and see if I have any devices connected to my account. And I do, but I don't have any FMS portables connected. So I'm going to use the FMS portable that we have here. I'm going to connect this to my account. I'm going to put some licenses on this device, and then I'm going to transfer the licenses to the tool. So the first thing I need to do is I need to register this portable with the portal. So to do that, I click the next button down here, my register device manager or USB device. The ID of this device will be the six or seven digit number in the middle of your device. Mine is 1590092. So I'm gonna add that. I need to change my ID type here to publisher defined. And I have instructions up here on the right of how I need to set this. Um, I can give the device name, whatever I want the dev device name to be, something descriptive for me. My site name might be the line or the area of your plant that you're using this device in. For me, I'm gonna use Auburn Hills. And down here, my type, I'm gonna change this to USB device. So now that I've created this device, I'll see if I go back and search devices again, I'll see that I ha now have two devices. I have the device I just added, and then I have another device which is uh, for something else. If I take a look here at my order history, I can go back and see what licenses were added to my account. And I see here that I have an integrated controller license in, in this order. Um, and I can see in here, if I look at some of the other orders, that I have an, an internal integrated controller license. And I also have some process licenses from, from other orders that we're going to use with the tool today. So again, I'll click my search license manager or USB device. I'm going to click on that device that we just added. And we can see now that I have no features currently mapped to this device. So what I need to do is I need to map a few features to this device. So I'll click the Map Features button. And as I go through here, I see all the items that I have available that can be added to the device. I'm going to choose a couple of them here. So there's two licenses we'll need to use the integrated controller on the ICB tool. We'll need an integrated controller license and then whatever different virtual station type that we want to use with this tool. For today, we'll choose the process virtual station type, and I will add that to this I'll map this features to this device as well. So I'll wait a second here. My browser updates, and I see some messages here. Now I have a few features mapped. I do have a status that says license not generated. That just means that I haven't downloaded that capability response yet. So I'm going to click the button over here to download that capability response. And you'll see it's going to ask me to save a file that has the number of the device that I entered there, .bin. So I'll save this .bin file to my downloads folder. And I'm gonna go take a look at my downloads folder right now. I have a lot of different files in here. I'm gonna take this FMS portable. I'm going to connect it up to my Surface Pro here. Could be any Windows computer that you do this on. And you'll see on the device, it's empty. There's nothing there. So I'm going to take that bin file now that we just, that we just made, and I'm gonna copy that over to my USB device. And that only takes a second. I will now properly eject the device by right-clicking here and clicking Eject. Then I'm going to take this device and connect it to my ICB tool. Now, you will need an adapter for this. This has a female USB-A end and a male micro-USB connection to connect up to the tool. So I'm going to plug this into my adapter here, and I'm going to wait just a second. I'll go into the software on the tool so we can see what happens when I, when I connect this to the tool. So I'm going to switch back over here, um, my wireless network. Uh, in a previous video here, we talked about how to set up the access point mode on the tool. So I'm going to go back to using the access mode that, that we configured on the tool and access the tool that way. So as I connect back to that network, um, if you've seen my, our video on how to connect via the access point, this is the network configuration that we're using. The address of the tool is 192.168.140.15. You'll see as, as I get connected, it refreshes with the tool and it shows me the, the web interface for the tool. I will need to connect to the tool wirelessly to do this because I only have one micro USB connection on the tool. So I can't be connected with the cable and with this device at the same time. So now I'll connect the FMS portable to the tool. 
and I'll plug into my micro USB port on the back of the tool. And what I'll see here in the, in the software interface for the tool, it's gonna read the device, it's gonna tell me what licenses are available. I'm gonna grab a couple of licenses that we're gonna use on the tool today. So the ICB tool and the ITB tool, the integrated controller has a separate license. It's called the integrated controller license. It also needs a virtual station type to tell it what sort of functionality and, and features that, that that particular tool has. So I need to grab two things off of this device. I'm gonna grab my virtual station first here, this process control one. Um, under my controller features, I'm also gonna add the integrated controller license. I click OK, and it's gonna add these two things to the tool, and it lets me know that it's now safe to remove the FMS portable. So I'll click close, and I will remove this device. So now we'll go back to my home screen on the tool. I'm gonna go into the integrated controller tool menu, and I can see here that I still have um, some issues here with my virtual station. I've got a, a, a checkbox here that tells me I have a license missing for this. And I do, I don't, this virtual station type, as you can see here, says none, so it doesn't know what functionality we have. So even though we only have the one process virtual station type on there, we still need to map that to the virtual station, just like we do on the Power Focus 6000. So I'll go in here and select that one process control license that I moved over with the portable, and I'll click the apply button here at the bottom. As we can see, my, my, uh, my alerts go away there, and now I'm ready to run the tool. So that's how we license the tool using the FMS portable. If you have any further questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative, and thanks for watching.